everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, welcome to another episode of the Middletown, Connecticut Community Connection. I'm JC Dawkins, a realtor with Century 21 All Points Realty, and I'm a local real estate agent here. And I've sponsored this site to keep my clients and locals um, informed about the, what's happening in our community. Please visit MiddletownCTCommunity.com to learn more. With these interviews, I get to explore new relationships like the one that I'm going to explain to you in a bit, introduce you to, uh, Nick Pichuzello. All right. And, um, and also the local businesses owners. And what they do is that they gain more exposure for their business and they get a local marketing platform for them to reach more potential customers. All right. Now, I focus on getting to um, know people. I am trying to give value. And I have faith that my business will grow accordingly. All right. Now, and today, as I said before, I'm here with Nick Petruzzello. All right. To do a quick interview uh, highlighting his business. Hi, Nick. <laughs> Hi, JC. Thanks for having me. Great. Now, Nick is the owner of Payment Solutions of Connecticut LLC based in the Middletown area. Okay. <laughs> thanks for joining me, Nick. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. It's, it's, it's awesome to be doing something like this. Oh, great. So what I wanted to do is just to go over a few things about your business in general, and then we're going to get a little more specific about who you are and how you uh, see your business going in the future. All right. Sounds good. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Now from visiting your, you know, your page on LinkedIn, what I noticed is that you have indicated on there that there are three benefits that you offer to businesses. And they include reducing credit processing fees, increasing foot traffic, and also new revenue streams. Please expand on those. Yeah, so those benefits are kind of the three, three main areas that we see our clients kind of kind of benefiting from when we go in and you know place an ATM in their business. And so to first off, just the first one, the credit card fees. Um, well, obviously, uh, companies have to pay for their credit card fees every time they do a transaction with that. And, and they're, they're pretty expensive. You know, they typically range from 1.3 to, to three and a half percent. You know what I mean? So it's not, you know, it's not ideal for them. But when we go in there and we use an ATM and their cl customers use an ATM, uh, all those transactions, you know, can be can be transitioned to cash. And that helps reduce the, the cost of uh, having so many credit card fees. So the more the more cash transactions there are, the less overall fees there are um, from a credit card processing perspective. Okay. And then um, convenient or foot traffic. Foot traffic is another one. Um, when when uh, there's an ATM in a location, um, there is a, a greater chance that people, you know, will, will come and use it, see it, walk by, and just get to know it's there. It becomes kind of a, a little a staple, on a, a mark almost, and people can come in and out and use it, even if they're not a patron of the business. So it, it helps locations with convenience, really. Okay. And the revenue? Streams? Yeah, and then to get to the revenue streams. So when we have an ATM in a business and, you know, the location is, is qualified and there's certain aspects we, we qualify on, uh, based on just uh, volume of transactions and, and other foot traffic volume um, is another one. But when the location qualifies, we, we can offer profit sharing with them. So they'll take a, a percentage of, of you know, what, what we get off the, the ATM fees. And that creates, you know, a new stream of, of revenue for the business that wasn't, wasn't there before. So it helps in that way. Wow. Okay. Hmm. So explain a little bit more about the ATM now. Why would a business, what it, why would it make sense for a business to have an ATM? Well, it's overall, it's a convenience thing. It's a convenience thing for the customers and it's a convenience thing for, for the actual business owner. Uh, when their customers, you know, need cash and, and it happens all the time and, and all across industries, you know, somebody might forget their card or, or you know, and for any reason, they might need to get out cash in your business. Um, yeah, it, it's a it's a convenience thing mainly, um, and like we said, the the credit card processing fees it, it really just helps you know all around. And there's certain businesses like gas stations, you know, cash only barber shops that you know really do see a large benefit from having an ATM in there. Yeah. Okay. Now let's get a little bit more you know personal with this. Okay. Now, what is your vision for the future of your business? What do you see that's going for you? 
So we have the name Payment Solutions of Connecticut, and we want to live to and grow to fulfill that, that Payment Solutions name. So right now we do ATM, ATM providing for, for, you know, qualifying businesses. In the future, in the next few months, probably three to six months, we're trying to get into um, more POS system installs and, and providing that to businesses to really capture that full Payment Solutions uh, you know, name. So, you know, when we go into business, we want to be able to provide everything from an ATM to a, a POS system and then service those all, you know, being local is a huge, huge benefit because um, we were knowledgeable about all our all of our, uh, our hardware, our installs, and we're, you know, we're always there just to call away. Mm-hmm. So we want to be able to really just complete that that payment solutions name with a, with a full complete offering of, uh, you know, payment hardware. And, and just help businesses, you know, provide convenience. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. All right. Now, what is the most memorable experience that you've had so far? <laughs> most memorable would probably be, probably be the first install, you know, we actually did here at, at Payment Solutions. And it was the most memorable because I've never done anything like this before. And so when we went into the first install, it was a barbershop here in Middletown. Um, that really just confirmed to, to me and my partner that we could actually do this. And this was something that would actually provide value to, you know, the people that we were, that we were giving it to. And, you know, having not really so much a background in something like this, and I, I guess being as young as I am, it, it really confirmed to me and it, and it got me super excited to, to grow and move forward with this. So I would say that first install that just really confirmed the idea. Um, it was the most memorable. Say you're young, but you and your dad together, you guys have been in this business for what, three years or? Yeah, we started in 2019, early 2019. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it speaks volumes. I have to tell you that you made it through 2020 because 2020 was the test of whether or not your business could handle it, you know? Test for everybody, <laughs> test for every, mm-hmm. every industry, every person. Yeah, it was, it yeah. was a challenge. So definitely. many different ways, so many different yeah. ways. Yeah. Okay. And um, so what, are your greatest challenges, would you say? The greatest challenges would probably be to find, you know, qualifying locations and locations that, you know, are really that next level, that very high traffic, high transaction volume locations. Mm -hmm. And, you know, getting them, if they already have an ATM to switch, because, you know, there's the cost of switching time and the money. Not that it costs, you know, too much to switch, but from a business owner's point of view, you know, switching costs are, you know, something that not everybody wants to deal with. So going into, you know, higher, higher transaction, higher volume locations and, you know, getting them to, to really appreciate the value of what we do and, and see us as, as a local staple and someone who's very knowledgeable. And, you know, we're, we're always there to, to service these things, any problem they might have. You're almost like a partner to the business. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, and, and, you know, we mentioned on our website, you know, we were in this to, to support local business growth, really. And yeah, yeah, so we're, you know, we're there, we're there available all the time. We come and service the things we do. We load maintenance, um, the the whole complete install. So it's completely, it ends up being completely hands off and no cost to the, uh, to the business owner. You know, it's really just renting out, not renting out, but, you know, kind of having that one to two fit space where the ATM goes and it, it gives their, their customers the convenience and mm-hmm. it's completely hands off for them. Beautiful. Well, Nick, you know, thank you so much for sitting down with me today and being interviewed. Um, it's been a great pleasure actually to learn a little bit more about your business and also to wish you the very best in success going forward. Um, and I'm excited about where your business is headed. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, no, this was great. I'm, I'm so happy I got to come on here and really and chat with you about the business. This is a great, you know, website you're putting together. I think it's really going to help, you know, you know, everybody in the community, all all businesses in the community. It's really, it's really a great thing to see. Oh, thank you. And for you, the audience. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Once again, I'm JC Dawkins with real estate, um, a real estate agent at Century 21 All Points Realty. And so be sure to contact Nick Nick Pichuzello, right? Okay. <laughs> of Payment Solutions of Connecticut LLC at 860 807 5591. And they're an asset to our community. And always remember to shop local.
Okay. And finally, uh, if you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate in Central, in Central Connecticut, please be sure to reach me at 860-856-6833 or at jc at jcdawkins.com. See you in the next episode. And bye for now. Hasta luego.